It's like if you're rolling a dice and you're trying to make the dice, um, to see whether the dice is fair. And so you roll it and you expect each face to come up a sixth of the time if the dice is fair. If you see that, that six comes up a bit more often than you expected, then that's a random error and you say, okay, what's the chances that the dice is still fair even though six has been coming up? And in the end, if you get a five signal effect on that, you know it's a cheating dice. So every year at this time of year, there's a report to the CERN Council, which is the international treaty body that, that manages CERN. This year, <laughs> that's going to be a little more interesting than usual, maybe. You know, one of the mysteries uh, in the universe that uh, has remained to this day is uh, why different particles which permeate the universe have different masses. It means that uh, we are discovering that all space-time around us is filled with a substance. If, if it would be 127, yeah, yeah, yeah. if it would be uh, 120, it would be... Uh, if the Higgs boson will be discovered, we know that the Higgs boson is only an excitation of the presence of this, uh, of this medium all around us. There's a joint seminar. Fabiola will, will um, give the Atlas half of it and the CMS spokesperson will give the other, the other half. The most important reason why we build two detectors is to have you know, sort of two independent uh, cross-checks of, of the and that uh, you know, whether we ultimately exclude the Higgs or discover it, that this can be done by two independent experiments. I don't know what CMS is going to say, although I've heard rumours. I try not to hear the rumours, but I've heard them anyway. Now, of course, well, me personally, I'm on CMS, so if you ask me which is the better experiment, of course, I will, I will say it's CMS. It's all getting a bit out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very exciting year. And uh, today could be, even, could be the most exciting bit of it, maybe. All right, let's see what they've got. The name of the game is this mass range where the Higgs might be. If what we say is consistent, then it will be very interesting, well, it'll be interesting whatever happens, but you know, everyone hopes that we're seeing consistent things. That dip is pretty close to our peak, actually. Sorry? That dip is pretty close to our peak. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to find the Higgs with the present data set and improved analysis, a quick answer, madam? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nick Collins from the Daily Telegraph. Um, obviously, you, you've, these results aren't conclusive, but they are significant. Do they change your gut feeling over whether or not the Higgs exists, your personal feeling? Yeah. Can you answer? Uh, yes, but they don't tell you. <laughs> They see something that's kind of compatible, there's something at 124 to 126 GV in mass, but it's not bang on, so it's not as convincing as it might have been. The reason there's such a buzz in this room is because, because the heat is so important, uh, to, uh, so important to understanding the universe, even as a suggestion of its existence as a scientific milestone. Yeah, so when you get to that, the best possible worlds, if they'd have lined up exactly with us and had something as strong as that, it would have looked even more exciting. But this, I think that realistically, this is, this is a very good set of results. Huge progress. I mean, it's amazing how, how much more we know than we did um, two or three hours ago. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's like when, when we run this machine, we're kind of rolling the dice over and over again and repeating the same experiment and what we're looking for is, is a statistical picture of what happens. So what we've got today is if you roll the dice and say you get the, the face with a six on comes up a bit too often, you think the dice is maybe not fair. Um, if that six was a Higgs we're thinking maybe there's a Higgs there but to be really sure we need to roll that dice a lot more times. Just to be, it's a statistical fluctuation, it can mislead you sometimes.